The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros. Haney is taking further legal action against Ryan Garcia after the Sandra Martin purse bid. So, of course, Haney didn't get the type of money he was hoping for. And, of course, there's no greater reflection of your value to the market than a purse bid. Remember, back in the days, Teofimo Lopez had a purse bid and he got a ridiculous amount of money from Trilla. They, they bid... I don't remember the exact amount off the top of my head, but I think it was like four to six million. And um, so this is nowhere near that. So we're going to take a look at what Michael Benson tweeted. Devin Haney has declared that he's planning to take further legal action against Ryan Garcia following his one year drugs ban. Haney is adamant he would be earning more for his next fight had the Garcia situation never happened and believes the Sander Martin purse bids show this to be true. Quote. My lawyers will do what they've got to do to prove that in court against Ryan. We will take legal action because it has affected me, not only financially, but mentally and everything. And the source of that is Title Sports Net. So that is what Devin Haney had to say, that uh, he's been negatively impacted due to Ryan Garcia taking Austerine and beating him and financially, mentally. So now he's going to have his lawyers open up a lawsuit to sue Ryan Garcia. Dollar Bill, your reaction. If you don't get in that ring and beat Ryan up. <laughs> this, 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 yeah. sure. this is her. This, this right here, this right here is when, when people talk about Hurting your brain, Devin Haney. This is what they mean by hurting your brain. Mm -hmm. What in this? I can't hear. I was almost about to get a disclaimer. <laughs> 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 Devin, if you don't sit yourself behind down and go and. Man, who is. This can't be Bill. This can't be Street Bill making him do that. <laughs> what happened that this is this is not Street Bill? All the street stuff they were talking before the fight, they was in the streets. Sometimes even still wake up in the streets. You know what I'm saying? This ain't street behavior. You know what I'm saying? All that street tough tough that this ain't street behavior. You was like, oh, I'm suing him. He hurt me, impacted me mentally. <laughs> Financially. <laughs> Come on, let's just be real, Devin. Nobody was... The... You had a good dance partner, right? You had a good dance partner with Loma. That's a Loma Chinka. Cambosis, it was the reason why you went over there to Australia to fight him twice. Let's start, man, start acting like you this guy. Like, you not Floyd. You wasn't that. You wasn't getting that tank money, Canelo money, none of that. And I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and clock your pockets. But really, who's really going to watch the It was hard getting people to watch your fights before. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you had the belt, you know what I'm saying? The regular WBC belt. It was hard to get people to watch your fight before that. People your names just started really buzzing when you fought Loma. Then you got that gift because the Tio had an off night. Which has, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you went over there and had to go over there and get that money because nobody was gonna watch you here. That they was not gonna watch that fight here. They knew that you was gonna have a boring fight for twelve rounds. The same thing with this fight. You're getting, you're getting all, you're getting the most fanfare. This is the most I've heard about you is the loss. I think the loss helped you, if anything. 
This is the most I've heard your name. <laughs> you should be thinking, Ryan. You should be thinking, Ryan. You know when 50 was like, oh, I should send um Jay-Z a bottle of champagne because when he mentioned my name, I'm about a dollar with the it's 50 cent. I think you need to send Ryan a bottle of Austerine or something and say thank you because you made my name hot in these streets because it wasn't. <laughs> For real. You made him hot in these streets. And still, even if you would have beat Ryan, nobody was going to sit back and watch you fight Sander Martin. Because no matter where you look at it, it's a boring fight all around. Even to your diehard fans, they know this is a boring fight. People wasn't tuning into you before. You think they're going to tune into this Sander Martin fight? No. Stop with the bull crap and the, oh, this hurting my feelings. And <laughs> bro, nothing is not, is, is nothing is going to sit back right with his heart. He can sue Ryan all he wants to do. He can scratch his car, whatever he want to do, send tweets, whatever. Nothing is going to ease his heart until he gets back in that ring. He needs to get in that ring and, and beat Ryan if he can. Keep your hands up, because that's what you need to do. Because all this, it just, it screams out, uh, it's just cringy. It really is. It's just cringy, and it screams out like, like you ain't really happy. Happy. This really damaged you. This really messed you up more than it should have. Because you had the out. You got the out. Oh, he cheated on me. Oh, I'm going to get him now. And then you have everybody rattling behind you. Like, yeah, I'm going to go get him now. But you went the, the punk route. You wanted to punk it out. What happened to all the you was a gangster and all this other stuff from Oakland? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The reason was calling you a schoolboy. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> this is just—I don't know. This is a bad look. It's just a bad look. Get, get, get back. It'll make you feel so much better. This lawsuit ain't gonna make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's tough for me because, like, there's certain fan bases I don't even like talking about the fighters because I feel like. They just take things personally, like you're talking about them, which is yeah. weird to me. It's almost like they live vicariously through the fighter. So it was like Wildman's fan base back in the day when I used to talk about his lack of skill, how he needs to train, how he needs to develop, how he would get smoked by the guys at the top. Everyone was calling me a hater, saying this, this, and that. Well, time went on to reflect that, right? Even before Devin lost to Ryan Garcia, I was talking about how he would be vulnerable against pressure fighters because – of the way that he does things and whatever. And so then he loses to Ryan Garcia. And it's not that I'm hating on Devin. Y'all got to understand this. Like when I come here, I don't have an agenda. I don't have like fighters best interest in mind. I just tell you the real, like you didn't heard me go after tank. You didn't heard me go after Ryan. So it's not like I'm taking someone side. I'm just being honest. Like here's like the real deal truth about Devin Haney. Devin Haney has had things go his way, as Trill pointed it out. He had T.O. lose to Cambosis. Now, once Cambosis got that title, everyone wanted a piece of Cambosis. Vasily, because of what happened in the Ukraine, couldn't fight. So then Devin got the fight. Devin went over to Australia and won those titles. And in one fight, one night, he became undisputed. That doesn't always happen. You can look at Anthony Joshua had to go collect belts. Tyson Fury had to go win a belt and then had to go try to beat Usyk for it. And then Usyk had to at least beat AJ and then go beat Tyson Fury for it. But it's rare that in one night, one fight, you get to win undisputed and get all the belts. It doesn't happen that way. So remember, he got emailed the belt. 
Then he got to fight Cam Bosa's a guy everyone wanted to fight for the belt to become undisputed. Then he moved up to 140 and he beat Regis Progray. Again, go back and run the tapes. I said Regis Progray was cake for Devin Haney. Easy fight for Devin Haney. Like, stop playing. It was another easy fight for Devin. So when he was going to fight Ryan, although Ryan was never a champion, Ryan was arguably his toughest test, even tougher than Vasily because of his size. And Ryan knew that, which was why he wasn't willing to compromise his size. But when we talk about legal action for this, Haney versus Loma didn't sell. It sold like 100,000, 150,000 pay-per-view buys. Haney versus Regis Prograde was on pay-per-view. It didn't sell. The fight didn't sell. It was so bad it didn't even release the pay-per-view numbers. When he fought Cambosis, as Trill pointed out, he was the B-side. They went to Australia. He fought in Australia twice. He was the B-side, and they fought in Australia because Cambosis was the draw. When he fought Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia was the A-side. Not Devin. It was Haney Garcia, but Ryan was the A-side. Ryan made the most money because Ryan was the A-side. So where does he feel like He's the superstar. He's some. He's popular, and what happened to him hurt his ability to to get money. Like Trill Dollar Bill said, if anything, what Ryan did to him made him more popular because it got him more exposure. More people are talking about it. The debate between whether or not he should get his old back, whether or not this, this, and that, that made him more popular. And in fact, it made Devin a sympathetic figure to some. Some people feel sorry for Devin. Some people have the audacity to tweet, now everyone needs to apologize to Devin. <laughs> no, the F we don't. No, the F we don't got to apologize to the weight bully. You know what I'm saying? You cheat people. Someone's going to figure out a way to cheat you. That's the way the game goes. You're from the street, right? He says he's from the street. That's the game. You scam people, people figuring out a way to scam you. If you if you if you got some somebody else want they're gonna try to figure out a way to take it from you that's the game. So come on now, let's stop it. He was never a side. He was never a side. He never sold. He never put up good numbers. So now you're gonna say the reason why people didn't bid on your fight against Santa Martin was because what what Ryan did. Now if anything, he's talking about um match room in the zone. So, yeah, if you want to argue they didn't bid on your fight, but how much more would they have bid than top rank, realistically? Because that would be the difference. I'm going to say this, and I'm just done with, with Devin for a while. Devin, if you want to be seen as undefeated, there's only one way to do that. Fight Ryan again and beat him. It's the only way you can justify your loss to Ryan. If you fight Ryan again or, and, and, and you beat him, you can then make the argument that he only beat you because he had Austin in the system and you drained yourself to make weight. So this is essentially very simple equation. You rematch Ryan Garcia, you beat Ryan Garcia, and you regain everything you think you lost in one fight. Because what's not going to happen is you're not going to sidestep Ryan Garcia and everyone give you credit for it. If you're arguing the only way he beat you was because he cheated, you have to prove that. Olympic-style drug testing. Fight at a weight that's comfortable to both of you so that way you don't have to be weight-drained. Was, was, was being weight-drained a hindrance to Devin? Yeah. Most likely. I mean, he, he wasn't at his best, most likely. Sure. I don't think the Austin had anything to do with Ryan beating Devin, but I do think that if he can come in at a more comfortable weight, he can have a better performance. Phil said, like everyone who everyone who knows boxing been saying, keep your hands up, buddy. You can do better. So why not rematch him? If you beat Ryan Garcia in the rematch, then you'd have a better argument that you're undefeated because then you can make the argument he only beat you because he cheated weight and drugs and you got it back in blood that's the only way if you're not going to do that just let it go because you're making yourself look bad 
definitely. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the Commissioner Trill Dollar Bill. That's Caden. It's LLG for life. We the Boxing Bros.